Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Director, Corporate Communications, Michael McHale. Good afternoon, Chicago. Thank you for joining us at our press conference today. This is our 50th anniversary, and we are honored to be able to spend some of that time with you. We have, I think, the largest unveiling of product ever to happen in Chicago. Prove me wrong. I think we do. I am delighted to introduce to you the president of Subaru of America, Mr. Tom Dahl. Thank you, Michael, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here today to help celebrate our 50th anniversary. That's right, more than 50 years ago, American entrepreneur Malcolm Bricklin was selling franchises for motor scooters, including the Fuji Rabbit. On February the 15th, 1968, Super of America was founded by Bricklin and his childhood friend, Harvey Lamb. They decided it would be a good idea to import into the United States a small, quirky little car from a Japanese company more famous for selling motor scooters than cars. That first vehicle was the Subaru 360 made by Fuji Heavy Industries Limited, now Subaru Corporation. While the 360 did feature some interesting engineering, like a horizontally opposed two-cycle boxer engine based off Fuji's aircraft routes, the 360 was small, very small. It was interesting to look at, and it could get 66 miles per gallon. However, it was a tough sell, and in 1971, it was rated too small and unsafe by Consumer Reports and any sales hopes quickly vanished. Super America almost went out of business that year. <coughs> but like many true entrepreneurs, Malcolm and Harvey persevered. They worked with Fuji Heavy to bring the FF series to the United States. And when the Arab oil embargo hit in October of 1973, that car catapulted Subaru's business to explosive growth. Through the mid-70s and through the early 80s, Subaru was on a roll in the U.S. market. New products came, like the Leone DL and GL series. The Super Legacy was introduced in 1989 and debuted in 1990 at our Lafayette, Indiana factory. However, by the late 80s, Subaru sales had flatlined. And so in 1995, we made the bold decision to go 100% all-wheel drive. Also that same year, we introduced the first true crossover vehicle, the Outback, followed in 1997 by the Forester. Both Outback and Forrester were crossovers before the term was even invented. In 2002, building our World Rally Championship Series success, we let our fun side show with the introduction of the WRX and the STI in the United States. But through the early 2000s, we were still looking for our true selves. And in 2007, we discovered who we are. We began to understand that through our unique products and owners, that we're the car company that can bring you love. That aspirational message led to a marketing position, and with new, bigger, better, and better style products coming, helped us weather the financial crisis, high gasoline prices, and a deep recession that gripped the country starting in 2008. New generations of Impreza, Forrester, Legacy, and Outback in successive years propelled our sales from about 187,000 cars in 2008 to approaching 650,000 in 2017, our 50th golden anniversary jubilee year. 2017 was our ninth consecutive year of record sales and our 10th consecutive year of sales increases. No other auto manufacturer can claim this level of consistent performance over this time. Since 2008, the super franchise has grown at an industry-leading compound annual growth rate of 15%. Our market share, has risen from 1.4% to 3.8%. Subaru is now the seventh best-selling brand in the industry. We're not that small, fledgling little car company anymore. But while having great sales is great, we also wanted to be a company that's remembered for more than our products. We want to be remembered for how we give back. And that's why, 10 years ago, we started our Share the Love program, where we and our retailers have contributed over $115 million to both national and local charities. In our small way, we're helping to make our society a little better, and we're proud and honored to give back. And as we celebrate our 50th year, 
We are proud of what we've accomplished and we're humbled that we were allowed to do it. And we thank you, the members of the press, for coming with us on this journey. So now we're 50 years old. It's a good feeling. But we didn't want to slap ourselves on the back for just getting to our golden jubilee. That's not our way. Now our first thought was, of course, is how can we get back? And so last August, in keeping with our love promise philosophy of supporting our local communities, we donated 50 vehicles to Wheels on Wheels America. And now we are proud to say that 50 new 2018 Super Outback vehicles have been donated to select Wheels on Wheels affiliates throughout the country to be used in the delivery of 53,000 meals to 3,700 seniors across 39 states. This donation will help address Meals on Wheels' need for fuel-efficient, versatile, and safe delivery vehicles, and also enable our, most, our, senior, our nation's most vulnerable seniors to live their lives with independence and dignity. As I said, we're humbled to do this. Now, of course, as a car company, we also want to remember for turning 50 through our products. And so we're here today at the 2018 Chicago International Auto Show, and we're delighted to reveal the limited edition models that will make up our 50th anniversary lineup. So, let's get those candles lit. Models from BRZ, Impreza, WRX, Legacy, Crosstrek, Forrester, and Outback will each offer a 50th anniversary limited edition model. In total, we have nine models to unveil. I think it could be the single largest unveiling of product ever at the Chicago show. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the Subaru 50th anniversary lineup. beautiful. These 50th anniversary editions will offer outstanding value with exclusive content. Each model features exclusive heritage blue paint and dark gray alloy wheels. They are further distinguished by satin chrome exterior mirrors and chrome model badges. The cabin in each of the vehicles features back black upholstery with contrasting silver stitching, silver front, and rear seat belts. And SOA's 50th anniversary logo is embroidered on the front seats and the carpeted floor mats. Each of these commemorative models is based on a high trim level and with an extensive list of standard features. Product quantities will be limited to 1,050 for Crosstrek, Forrester, Impreza, Legacy, and Outback. While BRZ, WRX, and STI will have a combined total of 1,050. We think you'll agree these 50th anniversary models are a great way to celebrate our 50th Jubilee year. Pricing for each model is on our media site, and these models are currently available at our retailers right now. Now, when you're turning 50, you're allowed to look back, but you must also look forward. And so forward, we look. And with the, and with the future, we look positive indeed. This year, we will bring our all-new three-row SUV, the Subaru Ascenta Market. We will also have the amazing limited edition STI Type RA and DRZ TS models arriving at our retailers. And we will have more major product debuts coming in the next few weeks. In fact, we expect to finish 2018 with another new record, continuing our growth and achieving our 10th consecutive year of record sales and our 11th consecutive year of sales increases. Our sales goal in this, our Golden Jubilee year, is 680,000 vehicles, a 5% increase over 2017. The future for Subaru looks bright indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my honor to be here today. Thank you for celebrating our 50th anniversary with us. Have a wonderful show, everyone. <laughs>